new to my channel, I'm Moji Ogun. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be how to install a 6x6 closure unit. The hair we'll be using today is from Bell Arm Collection. All the links and stuff like that will be linked down below. This is their pre-plucked kinky curly unit. As you see already, this show looks bomb, honey. But you know, we're going to see through the rest of the video. So of course, if you don't have your hair braided up already, just go ahead and slick it back and put on a wig cap that's a little bit darker than your skin tone, just so that it can look better under your wig unit. You wanna make sure that the wig cap is not too far up towards your eyebrows and not too far back. We want it to be almost directly on our hairline because we're gonna wear the wig unit a little bit forward. We don't want to be able to see it through the, the unit. Like, why would we wear something that is not gonna be flawless? So put it on your hairline as we're showing right here. Now, usually I go ahead and put a little bit of foundation that's left on my breast. And I'm about to put y'all onto some Nunu. Go ahead and get this Sally Henson Airbrush Leg Spray Foundation in the in the shade Medium Glow for me. Or whatever shade matches your skin tone and spray onto the unit's lace. And then look at this, honey. This matches my skin flawlessly. I didn't have to go buy no lace tint. I had to do none of that. Now we're going to go ahead and take an eyebrow razor and some scissors and cut off the lace on the unit. Why do we use eyebrow razors? because it gives us a jagged edge to hide the line of demarcation on the unit. If you just go ahead and use scissors, it's gonna look boxy, we don't want that. So we're gonna use the eyebrow razor to hide the line. So first we're gonna go ahead and cut off the strip on the side of the lace. We don't want nobody to sand as a lace, come on. After that, we're gonna cut into three to four sections depending on your comfortability and expertise. Then we're just going to go ahead with the razor and cut it off. I would have showed you in this video, but I um, I was out of frame. Now we're gonna go ahead with this got to be free spray. A lot of people spray it before putting on their unit, but I just like to spray it a little bit on the lace of my unit because I don't have time for all of that. When I'm putting on my wigs, I only have five minutes until I have to be where I gotta be at. So we're just gonna spray it on, rub it and pat it in, and then progress. Nobody got time for all of that. Spray it, wait, spray it, wait. Mm, we just gonna spray it on the honey. And then after that, we're going to take a rat tail comb and just brush our hair out of the lace so that when we wrap a scarf on it, it doesn't get smushed up and look all nasty looking. Mm -mm. Now we're going to take a satin scarf. <laughs> See, the problem is we can't put the satin scarf because we still got the clips, Moji. Come on, Moji. <laughs> so the again, we're going to take the satin scarf, tie it over our big head, and you know, get to moving. This getting getting this satin scarf is also from the um collection it is soon to release and we're gonna leave it on for about 10 minutes if even that sometimes it dries quicker and boom look at it now we're gonna take our nairobi foam wrap and we're gonna put that on the top of our lace or at the top of our hair to lay our hair down smoothly don't nobody want no humpty dumpy looking lace come on now we're gonna take a hot comb to smooth it out even more Mine is a stove top hot comb. You could get a plug in one, whatever floats your boat. Now we're just gonna get some water only and spray it onto the hair and brush it out with the powder brush. And look how good this looks. The only thing else I have on this hair is argan oil. That's it. That's it. If you want a tutorial on how to achieve the wet look though, go ahead and comment down below or like this video so I can make that for y'all in the next time of week. And that kind of sums it up for this video. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe for more content from me. 
Thank you so much for clicking, watching, and tuning in for much more. See ya.